The tiny village of Chambol Musigny sits far back from the national route, directly in the mouth of the Combe, Dambin. It enjoys a unique terroir distinct from its neighbors Maurice Saint Denis to the north and Vougeau to the south. The name Chambol translates to the boiling fields, a reference to millennia of torrential flooding by the Grone River as it traveled through the Combe, depositing a thick layer of gravelly scree. Much of the village-level wines of Chambol are directly exposed to the mouth of the Combe, experiencing cooler temperatures and greater propensity for inclement weather events, such as hail. As one travels further from the Combe, the quality of the vineyards improves as one sees by the location of Chambol's two Grand Cru vineyards. The renowned Bonmar vineyard, shared between Chambal and Maurice Saint-Denis, runs upslope from the Route de Grand Vins at a moderate though uneven gradient, reaching elevations of slightly over 300 meters. The majority of Bonmar is made of a heavier brown clay soil, producing wines of more breadth and lower acid. Higher on the slope, however, and increasing as one travels towards Chambol, the soil is finer grained, visibly lighter, and with more active limestones, crafting wines of finesse. In stark contrast to its northern neighbor, the Musigny Grand Cru is the personification of elegance and grace. It is comprised of three distinct climats. Les Grands Musigny, Les Petits Musigny, and La Combe d'Orvaux. The gradient is steepest in Grand Musigny at approximately 15%. The soils here are relatively deep and especially stony, sitting atop a hard Comblanchian limestone with less of the distinctive reddish clay of Bonmar. That clay, however, increases somewhat as one heads south into the Petit Musigny, a monopole vineyard of the Domaine Vaugrier. It is from this climat that Vaugrier produces a minuscule amount of Musigny Blanc, a rare wine that until recently had gone unproduced for decades. It remains the only Grand Cru for white wine in the Côte de Nuit. The climat of La Combe d'Orvaux is largely comprised of Premier Cru vineyards. However, at two points in the last century, 1929 and 1989, two portions were elevated to Grand Cru status. The Grand Cru portion sits at the lower end of the slope, directly south of Petit Musigny and an upslope from its neighbor of Echezeau. Beyond its two fine Grand Cru, Chambol Musigny boasts 24 Premier Cru and none more famous than Les Amoureuses. Lying directly downslope from the Musigny Grand Cru, Les Amoureuses enjoys a southern exposure and convex shape, ensuring maximum sun exposure. The vines are laid out in terraces that descend via steep-like faults towards Vougeau below. The soil is a continuation of those seen in Musigny, becoming deeper and more friable as one heads downslope. In fact, the lower portion of the vineyard lies beneath a disused quarry, explaining the preponderance of stony topsoil. This vineyard has always been highly regarded. Laval considered it on par with Bonmar, and owing to this reputation, many producers price it as high or higher than some of their Grand Cru. Chambol Musigny is unique in the Côte d'Or, defined by the two vastly different styles of its Grand Cru. It remains one of the most interesting and sought-after areas of Bourgogne.